on our program taken as a whole, we have children who range in tested ability from the educable retardate through the gifted child. Indian buffalo hunt. Long ago, buffalo lived in the flat lands of the West. These flat lands are called plains. 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 Hundreds of buffaloes lived on the plains in great herds. The plains were fine hunting grounds for the Indians. The people who can be got at are the normal people. Yes, yes. You are normal because you do accept a large amount of the teenness of the people among, uh, among which you live. Dr. William Sargent is head of psychological medicine at St. Thomas's Hospital. He is well known for his special study of conditioning and unconscious brainwashing. The patterns you see on these television screens are pictures of sounds. This machine is called a vocoder. It is used for analyzing a speaker's voice while he is talking. I have now adjusted the vocoder. Electronic switching is almost like magic. It will bring you telephone services never before thought possible. Someday, people may want to see as well as talk over the telephone. All right, let's go on. Elementary school has become the scene of an experiment that has excited faculty and student alike and kindled the imagination of the many educators who have come to observe the program. And to the school library, a focus point of learning activities, has been added a film center, making available to the students and teachers use more than 1,000 teaching film strips and over 500 instructional films. This is Project Discovery, a promising new idea in education. Water is the source of life for 20 million people clustered along the, the way I use films, first of all, is to, for my own knowledge because I'm learning the whole curriculum myself, the first time, being this is the first time I've ever, I have ever taught. And I preview maybe 20 films before I teach a unit. Then I think about well, how I'm going to teach this film along with if I'm going to use this particular film. And who will write these new chapters? The young. The inheritors of all the knowledge and culture of the ages. Of all the dreams and hopes of those who went before us. What an exciting time to be young. exercise serves many purposes. It develops muscles in the body, and it develops healthy attitudes of mind. Because you know people are depending on you, rain or shine, you show up on the job. You are earning money by your own efforts helping your family and yourself. And this gives you a sense of freedom that can be gained in no other way. These early morning rides through the quiet streets of Hagerstown are therefore a part of the education of Johnny Snell. Of all the machines in the home, the television is probably the most mysterious.
very idea of a machine taking something out of the air and converting it to recognisable pictures would probably seem quite absurd if it hadn't actually already been invented. And all that's inside these machines is a mass of equally mysterious bits and pieces, none of which appear to do anything at all. This is direct television from the studios of the Alexander Palace. And now you're going to see and hear someone you know well. A mighty maze of mystic magic rays is all about us in the blue. And in sight and sound they trace living pictures out of space to bring a new wonder to you. There's joy in store, the world is at your door. It's here for everyone to view. Conjured up in sound and sight by the magic rays of light that bring Radios now tend to be combined with uh, cassette tape recorders or alarm clocks or hi-fi systems. Radio is so taken for granted today, it's hard to think of it as magical anymore. But I hope in this programme I've managed to persuade you that it still is. If television is an illusion today, it's going to be an even bigger illusion tomorrow. Command, march on. The cinema is still the most spectacular purveyor of visual trickery. These scenes were made by combining a lot of individual components on one piece of film. It's a technique which relies on a computer to precisely control the movements of the camera, which must be repeatable with 100% accuracy so that all the separate elements of one shot fit together. This satellite will be part of a shot for a feature film called 2084, a deceptively simple shot of a satellite orbiting a planet that actually took three days to shoot. It was done like this. Then the planet is added. For the planet's surface, they use actual NASA satellite pictures projected onto a curved screen. And this time, the camera's loaded with two strips of film. So we're ready to shoot. Again, the camera's driven through exactly the same movements as before, while at the same time, the projectors are slowly turned by the computer to give the planet an appearance of rotation. billion years ago, there was an event so extraordinary that without it, nothing would exist. It was the beginning of our universe, a time when an enormous amount of energy in an infinitely small space violently expanded, creating our universe and everything that we see around us today. It is perhaps our greatest scientific achievement to understand the history and nature of our universe. But there is a problem. Here is a large 
largest, most ferocious monster of all times, Tyrannosaurus, the tyrant lizard. With his great jaws and teeth, he attacked every living creature in sight. The government of the United States is involved in nothing and interferes with nobody. How did the CIA become involved in such far-reaching and disturbing research? This, this is worth telling, this is worth getting out there. The lack of respect for human life runs like a common thread through the material. We got one. Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard, um, but you know, keep the high-quality comments coming in. Please, this is uh, surely on track to be uh, a great live Q&A if we, if we continue getting stuff at, at that level of quality. Can you um, introduce yourselves and your roles and how long you've been working up there for? So you just fly around and, and flip around the space station? It's easy to take for granted the range of programs you can see. What you're able to watch depends on having the money. It has become a kind of icon of our age. There's Antarctica at what Americans and Europeans so readily regard as the bottom. Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. For me, that underscores the rarity and preciousness of the Earth and the life upon it. And you can see it looks like more than a dot, but it is in fact less than a pixel. You can see that it is uh, slightly blue, and uh, this is where we live, on a blue dot. On that blue dot, that's where everyone you know and everyone you ever heard of and every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. It's a very small stage in a great cosmic arena. Just speaking for myself, I think this perspective underscores our responsibility to preserve and cherish that blue dot, the only home we have. We are one planet. Emergency. No. Right, I'm sorry. As soon as you can, call the Witsack hotline. Enter function code 26. If I have information for you, the system will give it to you. for you in just three minutes time. Come on. 
For 2,000 years, the sacred art of the ninja has been guarded in the East. It's a neat little thought experiment built into the heading up experience machine. This would be a machine which you'd attach yourself to by uh, you know, planting electrodes on your brain and uh, you'd receive certain stimuli from this. Everything you saw, everything you heard programmed you, just like a computer. That programming can be undone. In the past, they, the psychiatrists and the ministers and priests, that were either sane or you're crazy. And throughout human history, they, the controllers, want to scare us. There's sanity and what's real, and that's what we're in charge of. And anything else is sinful, psychotic, evil, daft, hallucinatory. itself becomes a controlled environment as we move in and begin to understand it more and map it. This terrain becomes something we can handle. We're just beginning to understand the human brain. Uh, brain chemistry started in the late 1970s and it's moving very quickly thanks to computer modeling and so forth. There are new synthetic drugs being made, uh, both psychedelic and intelligence drugs. Listen to me. I'm here to help you. When you talk to the operator, you talk to a real person. Thank you for waiting. Go ahead, please. That area code is 212, sir. But can be measured electronically. Yes, yeah, this is really happening. happening. It's, it's definitely, definitely a trip, trip. but do, do your best, best to make it an adventure. adventure. Your destiny awaits.
Another time, we'll be back. 